Hey everybody, Blue from Blue Outside here. I got 10 pounds of chicken, boneless chicken breast. They were on sale at one of the local stores. And I cooked them in the oven, broiled them, and then charred them up in a cast iron skillet or browned them up, I should say. Uh, cut some of them here into strips that I'm gonna freeze dry just like that. And then I cube some and I'm gonna freeze dry those. But what I'm gonna do with these is I'm gonna make meals for the family. And the first one I'm gonna do like Spanish, these are like the North side, but it's actually a uh, store brand because they're 10 cents cheaper and probably made in the same spot. So what I'm gonna do is I got uh, petite diced tomatoes and that one actually has green chilies in it. And that one's didn't. So I'm gonna do that with the green chilies and I'm gonna add pinto beans and black beans to it. So it'll have these, this, and then this will be on one meal. And then over here I got corn and peas and then chicken flavored rice. Uh, this is something I used to eat as a ch uh, child. Uh, quick, easy, one pot. You know, you add all four ingredients and you got yourself a meal and it's hearty. So that's what I'm going to do with that. And then I'm going to do it Asian style. But what I did is I bought the chicken one because they actually didn't have the generic, well, the store brand in an Asian. And I was just being cheap. So what I'll do is I'll add some garlic powder, some ginger. Um, and then I got some of the sambal sauce, which I love. I'll add a little bit of that and then I'll just add soy sauce to it and then I'll still add the chicken to it and then do an Asian one. So I'll bring you back when it's done. I will bag these up in two quart um, mylar bags and it'll be one meal for me and my family. So uh, let's see, probably got $15 worth of stuff here. I mean obviously, well, I got $20 worth of chicken. but. Okay, maybe $30 worth of stuff, and we'll have a big old tray of chicken and at least three meals. That'll be good for being prepared and having stocked up. So, all right, I'll bring you back when I get it on the tray and get it ready to go in the freezer. All right, everybody, so I'm back. Cooked all that food up that I showed you in the first part of the video. Um, there's the chicken. I actually have a gallon-sized bag full of chicken again. I don't know how much is there. Um, there's the Mexican one, the chicken and peas and corn, and then here's the one that was supposed to be Asian based. So I had a soy sauce, some uh, that red chili pe pepper or red chili paste, whatever sauce to it. It's spicy. There's an onion in there. I chopped up a radish and I put two eggs in there. I scrambled them and dumped them. So that's why it's got the whatever color you want to call that, like an off-white, whatever, yellowish, whatever. It's delicious. I tried it. It's got a little bit of kick to it. So, and then I had so much left over that I actually had almost a pound and a half. So each of these big trays, the Harvest Right trays, I've got two pounds on them and then a pound and a half of that cooked chicken. So there's six, seven and a half pounds there of food, um, give or take half pound maybe. So I actually had the leftovers and I put them in my, I got brownie trays from the Dollar Tree because they're the same width. So I've actually got another run that I'll do. And then what I'm probably gonna do is I think I'm gonna cook up some rice to add to these afterwards. So bring it up to another two pounds. The reason I'm doing this is just to be prepared. You know, if there's an ice storm where I live, we can't get out of the house you know, any reason, plus it's good for 25 years. So buying chicken at $2 a pound, you know, stocking up on it, you know, got the canned, canned goods on sale, got the rice sides on sale. You know, you stock it up, you buy what you can, and then you save it. So, all right, everybody. I'll bring these back when I am pull them out of the freeze dryer, and we'll go from there. So, See you in a bit. All right, freeze drying round is done. Everything's been freeze dried. This is the chicken with the rice with the corn and the peas, and it just crumbles, which is what I wanted. And there's the Spanish Mexican style. And then I did brown rice on the side, and that crumbles also. Oh, sorry, I didn't record that, but yeah, there's brown rice. 
I've actually got a whole tray of brown rice because I only had the three. And in the first batch I did chicken with them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rice and I'll break everything up in about this normal size. And I'll put it inside of a one quart Mylar bag with the O2 absorber. I was going to mix it with this, but then I decided, well, if I want the rice with something else later on down the road, it's separate. And then I'll put the, the actual dinner aspect of it into a two quart. And the reason why I went bigger with the items, you know, with a bigger bag, because you can actually boil the water in here and serve out of this. Because this isn't a meal for one person, this is a family meal. So, you know, and then you can add a side to it or whatever, you know, you can add with it. Um, again, like this was chicken that I got on sale, the Norris rice side for a dollar, and can of corn, can of peas. They were probably, I think I got them on sale for 35 cents. And then this was the can of beans, two cans of beans, which were 50 or 60 cents a piece, and the north side for a dollar. The Rotel uh, tomatoes with green chilies were a dollar and then the chicken for you know it was two dollars a pound so I got a whole meal you know I guarantee it'll almost feed four for five dollars so and there's probably gonna be multiple servings because you know with the first batch I mean it's well it's actually not just here I got almost four pounds of food by adding all those together for five dollars so I've got three or four meals with two or three servings a person for five dollars. So it's a good way to store up food for in case of emergency. Um, something else this doesn't need to be refrigerated. So if it's just a power outage for uh, say an ice storm, long term, whatever, as long as you got a way to heat up water, you know. And I'll go over stuff like that in a later video. But just being prepared for stuff like that, it's not being prepared for you know. A zombie apocalypse, a meteor shower, just it's just for an ice storm. I lived it through an ice storm three weeks. You know, luckily we had gas stove. You can heat a gas stove, light a gas stove with a lighter and heat up water that way. So I'm gonna bag these up and then I'll bring you back when they're bagged and sealed. Alright, freeze drying round is done, everything's been freeze dried. This is the chicken with the rice with the corn and the peas and it just crumbles which is what I wanted. And there's the Spanish Mexican style and then I did brown rice on the side and that crumbles also. Oh sorry I didn't record that one. Yeah there's the brown rice. And I've actually got a whole tray of brown rice because I only had the three and in the first batch I did chicken with them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rice and I'll break everything up in about this normal size. And I'll put it inside of a one quart Mylar bag with an O2 absorber. I was going to mix it with this, but then I decided, well, if I want the rice with something else later on down the road, it's separate. And then I'll put the, the actual dinner aspect of it into a two quart. And the reason why I went bigger with the items, you know, with a bigger bag, because you can actually boil the water in here and serve out of this because this isn't a meal for one person this is a family meal so you know, and then you can add a side to it or whatever you know you can add with it um, again like this was chicken that I got on sale the Norris rice side for a dollar and can of corn can of peas they were probably I think I got them on sale for 35 cents and then this was the can of beans two cans of beans which were 50 or 60 cents a piece and the north side for a dollar. The Rotel uh, tomatoes with green chilies were a dollar and then the chicken for, you know, it was $2 a pound. So I got a whole meal, you know, I guarantee it'll almost feed four for five dollars. So, and there's probably gonna be multiple servings because, you know, with the first batch, I mean, it's, well, it's actually not just here, I got almost four pounds of food by adding all those together for five dollars so I've got three or four meals with two or three servings a person for five dollars so it's a good way to store up food for in case of emergency um, something else this doesn't need to be refrigerated so if it's just a power outage for uh, say an ice storm long term whatever as long as you got a way to heat up water 
you know and i'll go over stuff like that in a later video but just being prepared for stuff like that it's not being prepared for you know a zombie apocalypse a meteor shower just it's just for an ice storm i lived it through an ice storm three weeks you know, luckily we had gas stove. You can heat a gas light a gas stove with a lighter and heat up water that way. So.